This is a very, very sad night for the country. I want to point out that no journalist should have to experience what those anchors on CNN went through earlier today. As you all know, I am a frequent critic of that network and some of the things its anchors do. But today, Jim and Poppy were the utmost professionals. The anchors left the set and went straight to the streets, where they continued to report as authorities cleared the whole area. This is what reporters do. This is what we are here to do. It is what we are trained to do and what we are meant to do. We bring you news even in the face of severe danger. So I commend my fellow journalists at our rival network for calmly and for admirably doing their jobs. However, not everyone was so professional. Can you believe that just a few blocks north at ABC News, one of the women on The View questioned why Fox didn't get a bomb? She suggested that she wants us targeted. I mean, why would you ever even say something so despicable? And it's not just this woman on The View. All kinds of folks out there are blaming President Trump for today's bomb threats. Philippe Reines, who was Hillary Clinton's senior advisor, actually tweeted out today, Donald Trump, with every fiber of your rotten being, even cited and condoned hate. Never in 643 days have you discouraged people from unleashing the violence inside them. Your very existence requires anger and fear. You need it like normal people need oxygen. This is on you. No, wrong, Philippe. It's on you. It's on me. And it is on every single American right now because it's our country. I'm sick of people scapegoating and I'm sick of this whole victim mentality. Take responsibility for yourself. Take responsibility for your country. This is not a time for blame. This is not a time to speculate on why one newsroom is threatened and not another. This is a time for us to come together. Enough with the partisan BS. We're all tired of it. From Hillary Clinton claiming we don't need to be civil to Eric Holder saying when they go low, we kick them to the president himself, who is not blameless in any of this. He knows that. And he admitted to me that it is his responsibility to bring us together. Watch. There's a lot of division right now. Yes. And you now have people on the left almost uh, calling for more of it. Now, fairly or unfairly, yeah. you as the president of the United States have a lot of responsibility in terms of trying to restore that civility. It's true. It's true. So tonight, I caution anyone who is trying to blame any person or any party or any leader or any newsroom for what we are seeing tonight. We are all responsible. We are all in this together. And we must all work to protect freedom of speech, diversity of opinion, diversity of thought, and all the good that this country represents.